Hi Stamping Friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Um, I'm here today to um, introduce one of the three May-June card kits for my free card kit program. Um, I'll be posting three shorter videos instead of one longer video um, this time around, trying something a little bit different. Um, and at the end of the video, um, I'll show you all three projects plus a bonus offer, so please make sure to watch to the end. So by the way, this small video segment will be the same for all three videos, so if you've already seen it, you can skip ahead. Um, so you may be asking, what is this free car kit program? Well, the intention of the free car kit program is to offer a way for people who don't live locally and can't attend my events, a way to make some of the fun, fun projects um, I offer to my local customers and to learn, learn uh, new paper crafting techniques with us. So the program, program details are all on the events page of my blog, but the basic gist of it is when you place an online order um, with uh, the current hostess code, um, you get free card kits and there are certain purchase minimums, so you'll want to check that out uh, on my events page and uh, all the other details. Uh, and there's a link to the events page in the description below this video. So this is what your pack of free card kits will look like. And when you open the packet, um, the first thing you'll want to do is um, just kind of separate the projects. You see I have done that here. Um, and this one is this set. And then just like that. So um, you'll be all set. You want to choose which you'll work on first and then set the others aside. For this project, um, I'm going to approach it a little bit differently. I'm going to show you the original project, but then I'm also going to show you some variations on the theme. So this was what we made, and it uses a couple of retired stamp sets, uh, now retired. They weren't retired then, and uh, that is the Helping Me Grow stamp set, which I really love and I'm going to miss, and uh, the Gorgeous Grunge set, which um, you've probably seen me show many times because I especially I've used that little speckle image a million times. So um, because some of these project materials have retired, I wanted to show you some alternative ways to make the same type of project, but just have a lot of fun. So um, for this original design, um, I used uh, on the bottom uh, Cucumber Crush, which is a retired color, as well as the stamp set, of course, and then Island Indigo and um, Emerald Envy. Those were the three ink colors I used. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. So obviously for this, um, the variation, I'm going to eliminate the things that have retired. But just to show you um, the original, so I've gotten a little jump start here and I've started with sponging. So these are actually the project materials. Very, very simple. This is much more about the ink and paper than anything else and the technique, of course. Um, grab a piece of paper in here. So. Um, I have started the sponging. I've done all the Cucumber Crush sponging and the Island Indigo, and so I'm going to go in with um, my last color, which is the Emerald Envy. That's sort of a bluish green, kind of the intent being it'll sort of um, uh, blend the other colors uh, together. So I'm going to go in with my sponge, and I'm going to start in the center. I've just re-inked this so you can see it's really juicy and giving me a lot of color. So I'm doing it towards the center, and then I'm going to kind of do it around the outside edges. And I'm pressing really hard. There is actually a, a technique to sponging. Um, a lot of people want to kind of pounce, and then you sort of get this texture, and um, you sort of get a higher resolution, if you will, if you press harder. And you can see I've got a really dark bunch of color in there just because I did just re-ink this. I'm going to go back in and kind of blend a little bit more with the Island Indigo. Right, and I'm actually not pressing very hard because um, I re-inked this one as well, and I want to leave some of that light color in there as well. Okay. I'm bringing some of the blue down in the bottom too, just for the heck of it. And I'm pressing pretty hard. All right, so there we go. So now on to the technique. So I'm not going to use um, I'm not going to use the same stamps. So I'm going to use um, some a different approach. So uh, I'm going to use this other stamp set, which was also used on the original, Touches of Texture. So for this version, this next version, I'm going to um, 
just use this stamp set and only this stamp set. So we're going to use let's see that image right there and that one we'll use this one as well and then on the original we use this one and this one and we'll use those also. So we're going to start with my little spritzer bottle and I'm actually going to spray the stamp. So I'll do that off screen <laughs> so I don't get my materials wet. And I just spritzed about two times and I'm going to stamp it right there in the middle. It's going to take a minute for that to sort of appear and I'm going to do it again two or three times stamping on that on the stamp. If you guys follow me you'll probably know that we did um, this same technique last month with embossing folders and um, created a similar type effect but a completely different look and that's the project last month. I have a video um, for this one as well. Actually it wasn't last month, it was probably two months ago. Anyway, um, we use the hexagons embossing folder, which you can use in the same way as we're doing here. So now I'm going to take the stem and I'm going to spray that as well. So what's happening here with the water is um, it's essentially diluting the sponged ink that's on my focal piece and uh, sort of removing some of it to give you sort of a very faint uh, image. I call it water stamping. Go figure. <laughs> and I'm going to do it one more time down the middle. Okay. So you see what's happening there is that the the image is sort of oh, hello, starting to show up, and it's kind of subtle, but really very pretty, I think. And then I'm going to go back in with a couple of other images. Um, I'm looking for it. Here we go. And I'm going to use my archival black. Now, um, when I'm using the red rubber stamps, I like the archival black. And my latest new thing is when I'm using the um, photopolymer, I like the Memento black ink um, because then it doesn't stain those photopolymer stamps. Uh, whereas I'm not too worried about them staining the red rubber. Okay, so here we go. Just stamp some of those black images, give it some drama. Come in on the right just a little bit higher. And then I'm going to do a few on the bottom. And then I'm going to wash my stamp. So off camera, do a little washing. Because I'm going to come back in with that same stamp and the Island Indigo. Now you could just leave it like that, but I'm going to add some more in. I think I'll stamp off. It's pretty dark. Okay. Uh, and then last but not least, well, not really last, but close to last, I'm going to take this image, which is the long sort of textured image, and go in on the sides. So this is kind of how I'm getting the texture that on my original I got from the specs. Where is my sample? Which was from the Gorgeous Grunge, so there's specs around here and about. So I'm going to do this along the side. I think this, this is going to soften up color-wise as it dries. Kind of just brings the edges in a little bit. And then, can't forget my little dragonfly. I'm going to do that in the black there next to the flowers. So there we go. Pretty, right? I don't know how I did it, but there's a tiny little speck of black right there. Must have touched it. Anyway, it's pretty. So this was um, 
another one that I did. Basic same idea with the stamping in the background, the water stamping. And on this one I used a, a bunch more of the blue images. Um, and just to show you um, the original next to a couple of other of the variations, depending on how much you spray your stamp, you're going to get a slightly different look. So this is the original one. This was the least amount of water. And then there's another one. I used a little bit more, so I got a sort of stronger image. And then this one, I used the most water. So you can really see it a whole lot better. Um, and then let's see, what else did I want to show you? Um, and then I did a variation uh, in reds. Uh, I went and visited my mom in New York City just recently, and I know she loves Asian images. So I took materials and we made this one. And it's basically the same process you can see in there is one of the water stamped images. It's this image, but it's done with water. Didn't show up very, very strong, which is um, why I ended up stamping the red over the top. But then just love the black bamboo around the outside. This is the artistically Asian stamp set. So this is super fun. This water stamping, the potential is amazing. And just to show you a couple of variations, kind of going off on a tangent, I brought in some bleach and I did a similar thing but I stamped with bleach with that main image. I think it was so dramatic. And then another one right here also with the bleach. And then there's some water stamping in the background. If you can see it, some of the bamboo is done with the water stamping. So it gives you lots of dimension. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and that you'll try it. Thanks so much for watching. So here are all three projects for the May and June free card kits. There's still about a week left to place a qualifying order so you can get these kits. A couple of quick reminders, you must use the current hostess code if your order is less than $150 in merchandise. Uh, if your order is $150 in merchandise or more, you get to be your own hostess and still get the card kits, which is pretty cool. Um, and another reminder, must be able to contact you. So when you set up your online account, you have to check the box indicating it's okay for me to contact you. Otherwise, there's no way for me to know who you are. Um, so just kind of simple. Um, one last quick little fun reminder, there is a hostess special going on this month that ends um, June 30th. Um, you get an extra $35 of free product. And uh, to host your own party, you don't have to just do it in your own home. You can do an online party. I just had somebody do that. We initiated a hostess code for her. She gave it to her friends and they placed orders and it accumulated um, to what she needed uh, to get that $35 of free product. So the sales have to be $350 or more. So um, pretty easy with, um, with our wonderful Stampin' Up! products. So uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Um, so as I promised, I have a little bonus um, for you. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. So here it is. When you place a qualifying order starting June 21, of course that's passed, you will also get one of my new in-color bookmarks. So I'm going to show you those. I've made a bunch of them. I give them to each of my club members. And um, I've used the um, Colorful Seasons stamp set and the Seasonal Layers Thinlets to create this. So each of those little pieces was die cut out and everything was stamped. And I'm using the lovely, I think it's called Finely Woven Ribbon that's also in the new In Colors. So um, now that offer is only available while supplies last. Um, so, um, I guess just place your order, Yahoo. <laughs> so thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and uh, or friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.